Okay, I'm going to stay over here. Um, so, my topic is boy bands, and when I am finished, my audience will have a better knowledge of what a boy band is and the boy bands throughout the years. So, Screaming Girls, British Boys, Bubblegum Pop Music, that's what comes to mind when the term boy band is brought up. And I will bring up five points in my speech today, including what's a boy band, boy bands over the years, overseas boy bands, band girls, and social media and how it affects the boy bands. So, what is a boy band? Uh, the two main definitions are a trendy pop group of young male singers, each member typically cultivating an image so as to appeal to a preteen audience, or an all-male vocal pop group created to appeal to a young audience, which is basically the same thing. So, for boy bands over the years, we'll start with the Beatles, which were in the 1960s, and they consisted of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. And before Ringo Starr was on the drums, it was Pete Best. Um, 1966, there were the Monkees, which were Michael Desmith, Mickey Dolenz, Peter York, and Davy Jones. Uh, 1970s, Jackson 5 with Jackie, T.O., Jermaine, Marlon, and Michael Jackson. Also in the 1970s were the Osmonds with Alan, Wayne, Meryl, Jay, and Donny Osmond. 1977 was Menudo with Nefti and Fernando Salaberry and Carlos Oscar and Ricky Melendez. 1980s were New Edition with Ralph Tresvent, John McGill, Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens, Ronnie DeFonte, and Bobby Brown. Uh, the mid-1980s were New Kids on the Block with Jordan and Jonathan Knight, Joey McIntyre, Donnie Wahlberg, and Danny Wood. Uh, early 1990s was Boys to Men, back when Z was socially acceptable to replace the letter S. <laughs> um, and that was Nathan Morris, Sean Stockman, and Wanya Morris. And in the 1990s were the Backstreet Boys, with Nick Carter, AJ McLean, Howie Duro, Brian Luttrell, and Kevin Richardson. Uh, also in the mid-1990s were NSYNC, with Justin Timberlake, Lance Bass, JC Chazes, Joey Patone, and Chris Kirkpatrick. The late 1990s, Hanson. Um, with Taylor, Isaac, and Zach Hansen. They look like girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2005, Jonas Brothers. Oh, that's no, I love that. Um, with Joe, Nick, and Kevin Jonas. Uh, 2009, with Big Time Rush. Uh, Kendall Schmidt, Logan Henderson, James Maslow, and Carlos Pena. 2009, with The Wanton. Siva Kataswaran, Jay McGinnis. Uh, Max George, Tom Parker, and Nathan Sykes. In 2010, mm -hmm. <laughs> One Direction. Harry Styles, Louis Thompson, Niall Horan, Zayn Malik, and Liam Payne. <laughs> Anyways, um, the many boy bands have also come from overseas. For ex okay, for example, EXO, which is a K-pop, which is Korean pop music. That's a boy band group with 12 members, three of them being from China, and one is from Canada. So he's the odd man out. And then there's, of course, the Beatles, One Direction, The Wanted, and a lot more. Now for the topic of fangirls. <laughs> fangirls come with every boy band, whether it's one to a million, they come with every boy band. It's basically millions of screaming girls and boys, no judgment. Um, they're fandoms, which is a group of people liking the same band. Um, they usually have nicknames such as Directioners or Rushers or hashtag TW Family, which is very wanted. Um, the storm of these fandoms usually comes with nicknames also, which is Beatlemania or One Direction Infection. And he's not a boy band, but he's for Peter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Some of the fangirls will actually sleep overnight or even over a period of a week to just catch a glimpse of their favorite star, which leads me to the next topic of social media and how it affects boy bands today. Um, the social media helps build boy bands popularity in today's day and age, and One Direction is a great example of that. 
because they were on the UK X Factor and their popularity grew through social media because everybody was talking about them over Twitter and Tumblr. So their popularity just grew and grew. And radio is also a great example of social media because it plays everywhere, which is how the Beatles got so big in the America. Um, social media also gives fans a great chance to interact with their favorite celebrities and let them see them when they're on the other side of the planet. So here's some tweets with One Direction interacting with their fans, and their names have been scratched out for privacy purposes. Um, so in conclusion, a boy band is a trendy pop group of young male singers, each member typically cultivating an image so as to appeal to a preteen audience. There have been many boy bands over the ages, and there are still more to come. Many of these boy bands came from overseas. Fangirls come with every boy band, and social media affects boy bands in today's day and age more than ever. So now when you hear about Screaming Girls, British Guys, and Bubblegum Pop Music, and you think boy band, you'll be able to really know what a boy band is. Okay. Thank you.